Once you've taken advantage of the clean car rebate of nearly 10 grand and gone out and bought yourself a nice new EV, uh, they give you one of these though, a little 10 amp charger. They call it an emergency charger and for good reason because it takes about 30 plus hours to charge your car. That's where we come in. We install an EV charger and it'll cut that down to a nice easy overnight charge. So we're busy at the moment uh, installing an EV charger for our EV and our Napier Electric head office here. push it in like that, it'll just smoke like I was doing, because um, okay. it's got nowhere to go essentially. Um, so yeah, you're, 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 you're cutting wood, so there's sawdust has got to go somewhere. So if you're going up and down like that, it's pushing it up and out. Okay. Cool, so we're going to feed that long piece over the top of that piece of timber there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. On top of that? Right, on top of that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am legit! <laughs> So uh, Lucy's just hooking it up at the moment uh, and I'm just about to do the switchboard work here. Uh, what we've got here is the section of cable that uh, will carry the main uh, current. Uh, we've got a decent earth out there, make sure it's well earthed for safety. And this one here is a cable for our current transformer. So in the switchboard here we install a current transformer which senses the, the load, uh, on the total load on the phase that we've taken it off and it will adjust the car charger's output to see. got the cover here. Uh, we're about to set the max limit for the current draw. Uh, so we have 40 amps of phase on our supply here. So we're going to set our max draw to just under that. Now we're in a quite a public place here so we've installed our charger inside a, a lockable box just so we can lock it up overnight. Uh, you don't have to do this in your home, but it's probably a good idea if you are in a, in a business that's in quite a public place. 